up everyone, to join us with just commentary. So we're going to check out a video entitled Thai Street Food Michelin Star Giant Crab Omelette at Cha Phi in Bangkok, Thailand. Of course, thank you very much for requesting this video. Like us on Facebook, of course, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, don't forget to leave a comment below and I'll try my utmost best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, Known for her see. iconic ski goggles, perfect hey. red lipstick, and crazy wow. skills on the walk. Jeffai oh, is one of the most respected this. culinary legends oh, God, of Thai street food in Bangkok. She still cooks everything over charcoal, and you will wow. be blown away by her care, expertise, <gasps> and her borderline that ridiculous portions of seafood. Yo, Jeffai. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and for lunch today, Ying and I. Hello. Ying and I. Hello. Hello. We are on our way to go eat at a restaurant or a street food stall, a local restaurant. It's called mm. Jefai. Many people Jefai. love it. Many people say it's overrated, and many people <laughs> say it's way too expensive. But it uh, must but be this awesome. This is gonna be my very first time to eat there. I've never been there, so we have some time today. And actually, we'll well, let's just prices. go see how the food is for ourselves. Yeah. Such as of course already. The lady had a goggles in her eyes. She had a goggles. So you know there's some serious heat going on. A quick word there. of warning for you. I never drive around these parts. Okay, the, the drive was fine, but, but parking, it was difficult. Oh, parking, just uh, okay. uh, but you should definitely catch a taxi here or walk here. Anyways, <laughs> we got a little walk and we are Hello. We are almost here. Uh, I'm very hungry now and very excited. <laughs> Oh, wow. We ordered some of her Thailand signature so dishes, like, like, and they're going to be good. Over good, yeah. charcoal, over a, a, just a, a raging hot charcoal fire, and she's also known she's because she always rocks her iconic ski goggles, goggles as she cooks. Wow. <laughs> wow. I wonder why. <laughs> it's just that it'll be. You see, everybody has something iconic and, and unique about them. I've got mine here. That's my iconic, my iconic way. It doesn't hold in the soil. Oil. <laughs> Oil. Wow, that is huge. Some people say this is expensive. It's important like so, 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 That's massive. Two chips and so, so, so. <laughs> I do. So you have to get that quality sauces. That is the sauces. most insane omelette I've ever seen in my it's life. And she's making it burrito like, style. Oh you should have seen how much, how wow. much, like, shellless crab meat she added in there. She is wow. literally taking care of it like a baby. And she does her process of making the omelette. Wow. I mean, I'm if it's expensive, that it soak up too much oil, or if it's costing a lot, I can like see why. Yeah. Because that is taking a lot of delicate processing. I mean, she is properly making sure it's ready now she finished making our first dish which is the kaijiopu which is the wow, I mean, insane, most insane crab omelet <laughs> and i can say one thing already she is extremely nice she's really friendly and she is <laughs> a master and a perfectionist that what i she can does. see that she's talking with Ying right now they're having a great time and then she's going to cook the rest of our dishes very soon but wow. that that crab <laughs> Hey, you don't it's think it's expensive? I can ridiculous. see why. But it really, really, really looks like it's worth it. information about this restaurant. Uh, so the restaurant's name is J Fai, mm. and J in Thai is the name that you call uh, a Chinese lady that you want to respect. Chinese That's the first auntie. word. The second word is Fai, and that Fire? actually directly translates to a mole. And oh. so it's like a, oh. a Chinese lady that you want to respect. Oh, because she's got the mole. mole. <laughs> and uh, she, Chinese. she does have a couple of her fashion is on the next level the <laughs> ski goggles and the ski hat she rocks it so well oh, <laughs> I wouldn't know why but if you look closely she's wearing lipstick and her lipstick is just perfect she's, she's right and it's pretty hot let me tell you uh, you get the, been, the yeah. heat of the fire the heat of this pot of soup boiling right here and she just remains pretty and in the zone <laughs> 
This is so the next amazing. she's making is the pad ki mao senyai, which is the drunken noodles. <laughs> Just drunken noodles. Wow. Oh, this looks so delicious. Whoa, what is that? Is that the rice I had to mention? I haven't mentioned it yet. Something like rice. Rice something he mentioned it in earlier. Wow. Oh, the chilies! Mac must be happy. Is that crazy? She put the whole chilies in there like, hey, go that stage. <laughs> oh. Of course, nice are the games. Delicious. That's some serious fire. Wow. I stood there and watched <laughs> she made all of our dishes. Wow. Actually, we just got three dishes. The presentation is they are this. huge dishes. Ooh, and the, the presentation that she is awesome. Is this is so gargantuan. I look and at she, the size I can of say that. with one thing with certainty. She is an amazing <laughs> lady and she oh. has to be one of the coolest chefs I've ever met in the world. Mac, I love how Mac is There's no doubt that this is positive. one of the most insane omelet omelets. that you will ever come across. Mm. It's literally like burrito size. There's only two eggs in this entire thing. So you can imagine how much crab is oh. in here. And her method of making this omelet, she ensured us that it doesn't soak up that much oil. Okay, I can guarantee you this thing floats. Oh. It is looking it is just so literally solid. And it's looking very heavy. Crab. So that means like you're going to get your... <laughs> You're gonna get your belly oh, full. That's just pure this crab. Like delicious. With a little bit of egg. I Can I know. pick it up like a burrito? I think she will be okay with it. Look at this thing. It is a burrito. It's a crab <laughs> egg burrito. This is, this is unbelievable. Oh. oh. Look at this eye. You see it again? <laughs> this is a way you know Mac is truly in love with him. His eye, one eyelid stays closed while the other opens. That is. <laughs> ridiculous. Those nuggets of crab that so literally delicious. melt in your mouth. Wow. And the egg is merely there to hold it all to hold the crab together. Wow. And then it's crispy on the outside. Can you mix things with it? It really is not oily on the inside. No, it don't look oily at all. It's very delicious. That's just what you call oozing crab onto that the rice. Is nice. And the, the sauce rice. that you're supposed to use Ooh, along with kai jiao or an omelet and pie no, is the is sauce thick, which is a, it's like a, it's a chili Ooh, sauce, but kind of a sweet, so kind of nice like, yeah, a sweet mm, kind of chili sauce. Nice like bowl, Add yeah. some of this. Oh, it's chili sauce? Okay, and that should balance off the, the richness a little bit. Let's see. No, okay, well, he rather the omelet more than this one for sure. The eye, the eye tells his, the eye tells that his is, heart. <laughs> yeah, that's supreme. One of her most famous dishes is pad ki mao wow. yai, which in, it literally translates to drunken noodles. Drunken and this is a is famous Thai dish. Uh, she's known to have one alcohol. of the most gourmet, one of the most expensive versions in all what's of the Bangkok. Price? And I wonder what's the main the price? ingredient is the senyai, which are the wide rice noodles. Yeah, she, white rice she noodles. again made this so expertly. It looks noodles. like just a, you could probably pick up this whole thing in one spoon as it all sticks together like a, Ooh, like a that pancake. Is so almost. chunky. A couple notable features in here. Um, number one the are the size oh, of okay. these shrimps mega prawns and these are prawns. ocean prawns look it fills that entire look okay here's the serving spoon <laughs> this is a serving spoon it fills up the entire wow. serving spoon and that is just solid is tiger amazing. prawn muscle okay and another notable feature oh okay i couldn't forget the nuggets of crab she also just i'm going to throw in here as well spice. um but she also added in both basil uh holy basil and sweet basil uh, to give it flavor so and the spice mark. this yeah this i know you can the see spice those char marks mark. from the the wok the charcoal wow. i'm gonna i'm gonna first begin with a piece of the noodle Whoa. and then oh I'll, I'll move on to the bigger and meatier and mus more muscular things <laughs> wow oh the depth of flavor it looks like That's almost like, like octopus soaked into yeah. those noodles because that, that, that is she adds all the sauce and the seasoning like, but then it all dries up like, so all of that <laughs> sauce literally just Melt absorbs into, it, into yeah. those sticky gooey noodles yeah you should mix it with the rice you can taste all those flavors 
absorbed into the noodles. It's almost scary wow, big how, how big that is and how fat and muscular and meaty that is. Wow. And I don't know if you can see the scale here, but it is oh, literally wow. like if you were to, okay, if you were to hold this in your palm, it would take up like your entire wow. hand. Wow, is just trying to tell us. It's Look at the huge. size of that. It's huge. <laughs> This looks like a very full boy. Yeah, there's no way you want to take that in one bite. <laughs> well, you could. But it's yeah. not overdone. It's muscular. Yeah, it's the juicy. Kind. The flavor of all that sauce is just uh, caramelized around the edges. Wow. <laughs> That's just like a muscle in your mouth. Ah. And now moving on to the Tom Yum Goon, which Tom is the final, our third dish. I want to see how much is going to see. Move seats over here. The dishes are so big. <laughs> Up at the front of the restaurant, you'll see that she has a whole pot of bubble <coughs> pork stock. Mm. And that's what she made the soup with. Um, we, she asked me if I wanted it spicy, and of course I wanted it spicy. Yeah, so you she added in a bunch I of uh, crushed chilies. Oh my God, that then is she added in the lemongrass, the kaffir lime leaves, and then literal okay those same jumbo absurdly huge <laughs> tiger prawns also went in um and then some jumbo. mushrooms in here a bunch of basil and wow yeah and then and then, and then her final step was that she added in some numpik pow which is uh roasted chili jam so first we got to just taste that sauce. broth bro that sauce bro oh delicious oh, oh. <laughs> he's high that is so sour that if you're not expecting that, it will make your eyes bulge. <laughs> the it just what just off, you can taste the, the depth of that pork stock, but at the same time, you get a you get the subtle clues of the lemongrass, the basil in there, the kaffir uh, lime leaves, uh, the galangal yeah. in there comes in really nicely as well. That's a broth of wonders. There is literally no other way to eat these prawns than to just pick it up with your hands by the tail. They're too big for spoon or fork I wonder or if you can get together in one They're a job only the hands can, can do. <laughs> Those are some huge ribs, my gosh. Something you immediately admire about her. What? Is that she doesn't overcook any of the seafood. Ah. <laughs> oh, that broth is just Delicious. mesmerizing. And it will really make you sweat too. Oh, so why do you? I don't like you. The flavor, though, that's oh. flavor overload. But I think the dish with the most wow factor Definitely is the was crab the omelet. Crab omelet. This I saw it in the eyes beauty, So I'm moving back over here. <laughs> just look at those nuggets, and Mixing just wrapped rice. up in that egg. Literally, the egg is just a—it's just an excuse <laughs> for the crab. Totally Going vegan. for some of the piknabla. You like it? Dress it. Oh yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's kind of trying to do the one go. Oh, my <laughs> Very ambitious there, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Definitely. This is definitely oh, the best wow. play to find him out I've ever had. I love it. Makes us want to just jump in our kitchen and make some meal. nice dishes. But the sweat is just dripping you like right now. Because you you went and, and you bought spices. I'm going to pay the bill real fast. Wow. She is a legend. And our total bill came to 2,390 oh. baht. Uh, so <laughs> it's not cheap by any standard of the imagination. <laughs> but you will hey. eat your fill. <laughs> Of gargantuan shrimp to and shellless okay. crab here. I guess here. that's why this There's is There's no expensive. doubt about that. You know, it's all about expectations. So if like you are expecting it to be to street food prices and quality, in my money. Uh, then J5 is simply not that. Not that. She uses premium ingredients. Uh, wow. and <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah, I will have the big with the J5. Oh, it is but expensive. You not really pay for the food itself, I can imagine why someone said it's expensive. Mind and impressive. I was like, how could someone say the million times it's expensive? A legend. But I guess uh, we that's why she put so much effort into it, honestly. Been there for 60 years. 60. She's now 71. Her mom started the wow. restaurant. And so she has been there since she was 11 years old, helping her mom, cooking, wow learning how to cook and so she is That's beyond amazing. expert she is a, yep. a bangkok culinary hero and so my final conclusion 
is that I thoroughly enjoyed it. The uh, price. Not, again, not only the food, but also talking to her the and price. enjoying her company and her cook and just watching, wow. having the privilege I'm to watch the price. her cook. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed yeah, it. And also make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be publishing lots more food and travel videos. Subscribe to my channel, of course. See you on the next video. Bye. Okay, guys. I can see why people say it's expensive, honestly. But, again, you're paying for the quality. I would not possibly do this one because to me it's expensive i would not even in my own country buy a meal for 200 ec never no only if it's for some cost like you know like a charity dinner where you pay but i would never buy a meal for 200 ec the most i buy a meal in my country is like 20 ec I and mean, that's about um maybe about let's just say six nine six yeah no about ten no not ten about eight, about eight US maybe. About eight US, but not all this. This is expensive, but again, the quality and the way in which she takes her time to make sure that the crab omelette is done. Mm. I can see why. Of course, it's worth it if you like this. Of course, subscribe to Juno's with Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.